WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 17, NASDAQ up 76, S&P's up 18 and a half. Gold, gold contract up $12.70, trading at 2,152 an ounce. We have silver up 39 cents, $24.37 an ounce. Light sweet crude eight, up 86 cents, $79, one penny a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note up 6 ticks, trading 111.15. The 30-year up 24 at 121.19. And king dollar, king dollar, folks. Was building the cause. Bottom line is it broke the lows, broke the swing point rather. Down 421, 103, 376. Now, that's going to be the first day that we're in the lower range. Euro's at uh, 108, and as uh, the yen is at 149, British pound 127. Let's get over to the SPs first because I want to show you something here. We get a high volume low that ha hasn't been tested and it's going to go after it, man. So, we pull this up intraday. What we just did with this last 10 minute bar is that we went after the low that was established out here 50 minutes ago. That being said though, look at this. You got the second one that's out here. So my take is you're up 19. It's gonna go after these coming into the close today. That's how it looks to me anyway. Um, you know, cause the, up at the highs, see up at the highs, there's no volume whatsoever, nothing. It's all the volume is down. So my take is it gonna sell this down coming into the close. That's in the S&P. So then, then we go to the SPY. We take a look at the SPY. We know we had the, the contraction of volume yesterday. And not yesterday. Um, we had expansion of volume yesterday, the day before. So now what you have is this. We had come down on 72 million. Yeah, look at this. And you're going to go up on 45. This is a slow turn up at the highs, folks. This is, this, this is a market that wants to correct right now. So we go to the Qs. We take a look at the Qs. Same deal in the Qs. The Qs are up a buck ninety. You know, we come down yesterday with uh, what fifty-seven million. Yeah, we'll probably do about forty-five today. Gold, gold continues to go higher. I mean, it's stretching itself right now. But guess what? There's over three hundred thousand contracts traded at two ninety, two ninety-seven right now. That's good contract volume, man. That's the bottom line. And then the good old dollar. So, so here's divergence too, because my take is that this. S&P is going to try to, you know, get into the lows coming into the close when is the first day that the dollar broke. And it did break. Okay, so bottom line, we'll see where baby shakes out, but it's going to be a fun hour. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.